I got a question for you protesters out there. I got a question for you SJWs out there. For all you people that put in that little black box on your Instagram, I, I got a question for you. What have you accomplished? What has been accomplished by your virtue signaling? What has been accomplished by all of your protesting and looting and, and, and vandalizing property? What have you accomplished? Somebody riddle me this. How in the world, how on God's green earth, are you protesting the death of one man, which leads to you destroying the lives of multiple other black people, multiple black businesses, destroying the economic success of multiple cities all around the country, and you have fervor, you have energy, you have passion when the black man get killed by a white police officer, yet, yet, when the brother kill a brother, you don't care. When the police officer, former police officer, 77 year old man, retired captain on the police department, done spent 38 years of his life protecting and serving, show up to a call for service, because you know when you're a cop and when you've served people that long, it ain't just a job, it's in your spirit. Show up to protect the pawn shop, being a good Samaritan, a good citizen, a good man, a good father, a good grandfather, a good leader in the community, and you show up because you want a TV, and you take that man's life, and y'all video record him losing his life, Nobody renders aid, and the man who did this probably ain't never gonna get caught because y'all won't even snitch. What have you accomplished? What have you accomplished? I'm not understanding the logic behind the way people act today in America. I'm sick of seeing black folks, and I'm white people, I'm gonna get to you next. I'm sick of seeing black folks being so disingenuous, being dishonest about their affairs, that they have the whole world kissing their toenails for falsehoods. Most black people that are honest, I'm not talking about black people that wanna be down with the crew, you wanna hang out, you wanna still get your, keep your black card. I'm talking about brothers that are honest. No, you don't have no negative interaction with police. You may not like that you were stopped on the traffic stop because you know you were speeding, but you didn't think he caught you, but he caught you, and then you wanna argue with him as if, you, as if it didn't happen. Most black people do not have negative interactions with police officers. 44 million black people in the United States of America, and you, new 2019, nine African Americans were shot who were unarmed. Everybody knows that just because you're unarmed don't mean you're not a threat. But for the sake of argument, only nine people have had a negative interaction with a police officer that led to their death out of 44 million black people in this country. Go to 2020, this year, there's been three and Breonna Taylor is one of them. And she got caught up in a warrant in the crossfire for miscommunication with her boyfriend who she didn't tell that she was knee deep in drug in the drug game and that they're either gonna be the police or some thugs coming to take drugs out of the house. He ends up shooting a police officer and she gets caught in the crossfire. She's added to the statistic. Outside of her, it's been two. Out of 44 million black people in the United States of America, there's been two that have been shot unarmed. And the other two people were doing something they had no business doing. And I'm not saying it's justified or not, I don't know. They didn't get charged, so I'm assuming that the justice system determined that it was justified, like all the other justified shootings. But y'all haven't accomplished nothing. You're ruining the reputation of your own people. People looking at TV, watching black people beat the snot out of people, rob businesses, kill other black people with no mercy, pulling guns on, other black, on black women in parking lots because you're so desperate and deranged and animalistic. And, and, and let me get to you white people. White people, I need you to hear me real clearly. You better stop with all of that BS virtue signal. You saying you have white privilege don't make, somehow make me feel any better about how racist you are. The fact that you believe in white privilege shows me that you are cognitively dissonant from reality. You are telling black people when you say you have white privilege or acknowledging your white privilege or, or, or that you have it better in life, that you're better than black people, that you're gonna go further in life than black people and that black people need you to somehow acknowledge and give them a handout so they can have a, a, a decent life. You're, you're not operating with common sense. 
And all this virtue signaling is not doing nothing but perpetuating and flaming and fanning the fire. Y'all fanning the fire. Y'all getting on y'all knees uh, 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 on the sidewalk to, to confess your white privilege. And if none of y'all was racist and none of y'all owned slaves and none of y'all was alive during Jim Crow, then what are you doing? What are you actually accomplishing? Y'all out here protesting in solidarity, uh, putting black little screens on, on your Instagram account to show solidarity with who? Some of y'all don't even know who George Floyd was. A man uh, that has been in and out of prison, a man that dis does not care and have total disregard for the life of other people, i.e. when he was arrested for pulling the gun on a pregnant woman during a, during a home invasion, and then he's found outside of the state where he lived at, where his wife and his kid, or at least his girl and his kid, live in Houston, Texas. He's in Minnesota on methamphetamines, resisting arrest from the police officers, trying to spot stuff with counterfeit money. And y'all out here giving life and limb to support somebody you don't even know. To support this idea of oppression in, in, in the community that is unsubstantiated. I've been black my whole life. Grew up in an all-black community. We not oppressed. We're not oppressed. We oppress ourselves through cultural dynamics that we refuse to identify. It ain't the white man, it ain't the system. The system will make you rich if you do the right things. How do you think Jay-Z? How do you think P. Diddy? How do you think Michael Jordan? How do you think uh, uh, LeBron James? How do you think Madam C.J. Walker in the early 1900s, the first female millionaire to ever exist out of any race? How do you think that Ben Carson got to where he's at? One of the one of the greatest men to ever live. Ben Carson has done things that nobody has done in the whole world. Came from a single parent home. Mama couldn't read. The system ain't against you. You are against you. People are brainwashing you to be against you. They're brainwashing you to be against them. So then they appear to be against you. Wake up, people. I made these videos. I go to war with y'all for y'all so that people can wake up like I did. I was a victim of that mentality. Oh, the white man this, the police this, the police. And then I grew up and I grew out. I grew up and I got saved. God changed my heart and I can see things clearly. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against racism in this country. We're wrestling against good and evil. People that are good are good. People that are evil, they're going to find a reason to not like you and to do harm to you. Whether it's your race, your nationality, your city, your town, what, what ward you in. Come on, people. Come on, man. Let's put all this BS behind us. Let's put it all down. Let's, let's, let's stop with the madness. Let's stop with the hatred of the president. Let's stop with the hatred of the white man and the police. Put it down and go look in the mirror. And you talk to that man in the mirror, that woman in the mirror, and you ask them simple questions. What have I done to make my life better? What have I done to make others' lives better who live around me? What do I plan to do in the future to leave this planet better than it was when I got here? Ask yourself those questions in the mirror. And when you have an adequate answer to those questions and you put that into action, the world will be a better place. If every person does that, everybody, no matter what you did, even if you're in a prison cell, look in your mirror in the prison cell and you ask yourself those questions. And when you have a solution to those questions and you have action behind those questions, the world will be a better place. And you don't need to worry about the government. You don't need to worry about systematic oppression. You need to worry about white privilege and all that other stuff that man put on top of your head to keep you down. You don't have to worry about all that stuff. You can be free and you can be prosperous. I'm done.